The main objective of Subnautica is to escape this alien world that you've crash landed on against your will. And to do that, you have to collect scraps and resources for countless hours while you suffer getting killed by leviathans. And the best part of this is, it only takes you about 20 hours total to do if you're focusing on main objectives. Now, luckily enough for me, I already have a lot of experience in this game. I've watched multiple playthroughs, I've played through about 30% of the game before, so my actual in-game experience wasn't very high when I recorded this video, but I already know, or I already knew quite a lot about the game going into it. On a basic level, the scanner allows you to gain information about certain things in the game like creatures and things that you're gonna have to grind for hours to actually get, like enough titanium to build the Cyclops, which is just a big submarine. But I knew that this would be very important for the entire run, because the game pretty much revolves around this single tool. After spending about 10 minutes gathering resources for the scanner and a couple other things, I finally built it. It shouldn't have taken me this long, but for some reason I was just really slow. Uh, I was also a little bit sick when I was recording this. If you watched my security breach video, you'll see that I recorded that one pretty much right before this one, so I was a little bit sick during this. But. Now that I have the scanner, I can finally scan blueprints and actually make progress in the game. Now that I had the scanner, my goal was to just swim around and explore as far and as wide as I could to get more blueprints so that I could actually progress in the game. Like I said earlier, most of this game actually revolves around the scanner because the main mechanic is finding pieces of wreckage and scanning it with the scanner so that you can make it for yourself. Uh, and a lot of these blueprints take a long time to find. Okay. Swivel chair, I need that. Okay, sea glide fragment, I need that. Silicone, rubber. Let's make some titanium too. And now, we can make our knife. Now, there is one thing in this game that is actually more important than getting all the blueprints for everything that you're going to need. And that mechanic is survival. To do this, I need a base. So, the main resources I'm trying to get right now are the ones that you need for a habitat builder. You can see them, I pinned the recipes in the top right corner, which is something very nice that they updated in Subnautica 2.0, which I'm very thankful for. But for this, I will need a habitat builder and a way to get food. But something that can withstand the environment around me better than I can is the most important objective at this point. But I decided to throw all of that out the window and instead, I'm gonna get the repair tool. You see, our life pod is pretty broken. You see, there's there's panels falling off, there's, like, the solar panels aren't working. It's not really good. So I decided to get to the repair tool so that I could repair my radio, which is the main way that you progress through the story of the game. Over here. Thank you very much. Nice. Oh wait, that's the last uh, vehicle way thing. Let's go. Fragment. Seamoth is nice. Other laser cutter fragment? You game wanted me to get this bad boy early. 
Yep, got it. 30 seconds. I'm just gonna go look at whatever's in here first. Please be Sea Glide. Mobile vehicle bay, I don't need that. Every now and then, you will get radio messages that pop up a little beacon in the game that lead you to a life pod. Now, these life pods are the way that the game gets you to explore the environment and discover new places. But I really did not want to go to this life pod because I just made myself a habitat builder. And I didn't have that last sea glide fragment yet, so there would be no good way to get there and get back. Wait, what is that? This was just here the whole time? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go over to this life pod real quick. Vending machine, uh, that's free food. Salty, but free. <gasps> and sea moth. And laser cutter fragments, alright. Integrating new PDA data. Compass, alright, that's terrible. Yeah. Am I. Am I in the blast radius? No. I shouldn't be in the radiation zone. So, yeah, so I'm not in <coughs> the radiation zone. I hope you... Ow! Friggin' biter. This is Avery Quinn, trading ship Sunday. Aurora, do you read? Over. Another the vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS. You offer know, help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. You still need our assistance. Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range stands pick up. That was a radio oh, message sent by the Sunbeam, which is a ship that's gonna come to, pick us up. Um, but first, they need to actually get over copper. to us, and that's gonna take a while. So I, I kept some. trying to get as much food and water as I could, and yeah, eventually wow. I'll try to get the sea moth. Let's go, mobile vehicle bay. Nice. Forgot how much is how what I need for Seamoth. Okay, I need two glass power cell titanium ingot. That's not even that bad. Aurora, this is Called it. We just picked up a massive debris in their location. I didn't know how bad. How many of you? Oh, I already had silicone rubber. We're now en route to your location. Nice. We're gonna bring you home. <laughs> Please don't, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you very much. Now that I had my sea moth, I was ready to go drive to the life pod that was way too deep before, just because I would drown. But this life pod does have a lot of stuff Oopsie. in it and around it, so it definitely would have been worth it to go. I'm gonna... No. Please. What are you? Power cell charger. Prawn suit, torpedo arm. Is that moon pool over there? It is. Prawn suit, torpedo arm. Modification station, that's also nice. 
Wait, is that the last one? No, I need three. Now, a thermal plant? Oh, wait, that's a one thing. Vehicle upgrade console, that's nice. Moon pool fragment, that's even nicer. Well, yeah, that's even nicer. Hey, there it is. Integrating new PDA data. Okay, sure. Acquired. PDA data. Okay, how long is this gonna take? While. Ultra guy. Oh, oh. Whoa, dude. Okay, wh <laughs> why didn't it? <laughs> what just happened? Sunbeam? This is Sunbeam. Yep. You know Aurora. Wow. Transgum on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying there: <sighs> No bad without the good, no good without the bad. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. Might just be. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sun beam out. Let's get out of here. Welcome. This is probably where the uh, giant. Oh, are we in mushroom place now? Nice. There's gonna be so many um, fragments here and stuff. I know. Thirty seconds. Propulsion cannon. Battery charger. I think I need two for this. Yeah. Bioreactor. Do I need like three for the grab trap or something? Two. Okay, good, 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 good. Grab trap! That's gonna give me plenty of food and plenty of water. I'm gonna need this for, um... Yeah, let's go uh, see how that's made. Okay, that's not even that much. Oh, is that a nuclear reactor? Let's go! Ah. Bro, chill out, buddy. Yeah, no, you're cooked. That's not the sunbeam. So there's our laser cutter propulsion cannon which is also going to be necessary let's go now it was time to conquer my fears and finally go to the aurora because it has so many blueprints in it that i really need to complete the game and it's just a necessary part of the adventure but it also has a Reaper Leviathan near it, and I was not excited for that. Oh, of course it has to be nighttime. It's now or never. Was that a Reaper? No, I know. Come on. I think I hear a Reaper. And this is why I needed this bad boy. I'm looking at the codes for the doors. Halfway. Yo, do I have a second radio map? No, wait, that's probably Sunbeam. Give me the Peron suit. Come on. 
I'm just joyous right now. Beds. I want a bed. I need this. So bad. I want a double bed too. I don't care. That's necessary. Make that nine. Six. Actually, I think I saw another one up there. Four. Repair the Aurora Reactor, I got an achievement. Uh, yeah, I guess I, I guess I might be able to use that. Maybe. Ooh, there's a wreckage. And the bulb zone, too. Please be like thermal suit. <gasps> Power transmitter, this is what I need. Lightweight high capacity tank is nice. What noise is that? Paranoid that something's gonna yank my sea moth while I'm in here. That's so much stuff. I can make all of it, I guess. I just need more rubies. Now, my original plan for my base is that I would have one base next to the heat thermal vent so that I could farm power from that and then a power transmitter over to another base in the red zone. What I didn't know is that the power transmitters, at least I think, can only take 150 power at a time. So eventually I did scrap that idea, but for now I'm just gonna believe that it would work. After that, I finally decided to go to the Sunbeam just so I could be a little bit early and look around on the island a little bit more. I heard something roar. You know, it'd be really funny. <gasps> that's a warper. Wait, that's not. That's not good. I don't have a way out of the water. And there's a reaper and a warper. Yeah, a uh, warper. If you would just please go square up with that reaper, I would be overjoyed. Okay, I just realized there's 30 seconds. That's starting. Survivor, we see you down there. Yo, what's up? Light. You might want to leave. Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. No. We have broken atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Bro. Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Touching down in 10. No! Eight. Oh my god. Saddest death in video game history. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. In my opinion, this is the saddest part of the entire game, even sadder than the Sea Emperor's death, just because they came all the way over here just to save us, and then they just died. So I did my drive home in silence and mourning, and then I quickly got off the game because I was so depressed by the fact that these video game characters had died. It is. Okay, now I can go to the mushroom place and uh, get a cyclops. 
scanner room is the last one. Now I can go to the mushroom place. And that's the Cyclops bridge unlocked? No, I still need one more. There we go. It's my base underwater. No, but it's about to be if I don't put something in here. Now I'm probably gonna have this go right here, I guess. Plus seven? Jesus. I'm gonna put this bad boy right there. Seamoth. Seamoth modules. Mark one. <clears throat> I need the upgrade bench. A diamond, lead, titanium is what I'm gonna get right now. Lightweight, high capacity tank. Mobile, mobile vehicle base for. Okay, I don't really have one of these. Oh! Okay. Nice. What are you? What are you? Oh, I know you are. You're the Sea Emperor. What's this? Is this a Cyclops hole fragment? It is. That's what. Oh. Oh, this is a Cyclops bridge. Yeah, I already got the net too. So we're just gonna have to listen to the sandwiches. The sandwich run. Uh, yeah, give me a second. Lightbox data shows the high security terminal with the camera tours is still functional. Becky's leaving like in five minutes. All right, tell Becky I'll just take the the regular. The regular? Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should be. There's so many over here. Tell the regular, dude. Okay. The code. The regular. She's like, what's the regular? I have to come all the way back up here. The code should be two six seven nine. The regular's just a ham and cheese. Integrating new PDA data. Well, judging on how long this is taking to scan. Ooh, that's not something completely useless. I then started my journey over to the mushroom biome so that I could get scraps and fragments for the Cyclops and for anything else that might have been nice that I could find there. That's gonna start chewing up power fast. Cyclops bridge. Cyclops engine. It doesn't say anything about Aurora, Cragfield, Crash Zone, Mountains, Underwater Islands Wreck. That was a Cyclops, en a Cyclops engine fragment. Okay, now that I have that, we're leaving. We're gone. We're done. Bye. Jeffrey Jr. Oh my god, you're about to... Okay, go, 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 go. Go back to the life pod. Leave. The bone sharks hurt so bad. It's good. Pin recipe. My big goal after getting all of the blueprints for the Cyclops was to actually build it. And after 30 minutes of gathering resources just for this one vehicle, there's the Cyclops. 
This is the first time I will ever craft a Cyclops in survival mode. And this is going to make me overjoyed. Except, you need deeper water. I don't? Now all I need is a prawn suit, which, you know... We'll watch it construct, and then I'll get the friggin' recipe off my screen. Gonna give it that nice, vibrant blue color. And the striped one's gonna be like a deep purplish blue color. And stripe two's gonna be like a yellowish color. Don't ask me which YouTuber this is. Named after. Or I guess colored after. It's pretty similar to a YouTuber's Cyclops' color scheme. Meh. It's kinda similar. Now I really need a prawn suit. I two diamonds. Two plasteel ingots. Two plast lead. And now I had to try and find the most difficult part of this entire thing. Which is aerogel, because he uses rubies, which are very rare, and it uses gel sacks, which are also rare, and the reason these things are rare is because they are hell to find. It is almost, like, impossible for me to find them. I could not for the life of me figure out where these things were, and it only took me about half an hour just to get these two ingredients for one part of the prawn suit. Now, although I was glad to finally have the prawn suit, it is pretty much useless without a drill arm and a grappling arm, which both were things that I needed to get blueprints for, and until I did that, there was really no point in having the prawn suit, so I just kind of forgot about it. I don't know when my recording cut off. Hopefully it wasn't that long ago. But, uh, we've got a little bit of a problem. <laughs> uh, I've been taking apart the base a little bit. For a, uh, expansion. And, uh... If you haven't noticed, it's collapsed a little bit. Bingo. Come on, open the door. Let me in. What are you doing? Let me inside. Am I hitting it? Am I tipping it on its side? Open the door. Thank you so much for finally letting me inside. I will close up fisticuffs all the way and we did not damage the ship. Then I went back to the mountain islands just to gather some more resources in case I needed them later. Gold? Oh, I know where I am. This is where I dropped loads of stuff, because there was loads of stuff that was not terrible. Ah. And let's <gasps> ride. Gel sacks! I need these guys for, um... For later. Then what? I'm swimming around inside of the Cyclops. Can I go down? Oh. Can I open things? Ooh. I'm inside the prawn. I'm gonna turn on Leviathan Spa. Oh, great. There's one just right where I need to be. You might be wondering what I meant by that. And put it simply, I was using an interactive map 
of the whole Subnautica map where you can like turn on things like the Viathan spawns and shipwrecks. And no, I made a before. checklist of blueprints that I wanted. And then using that checklist, I went around and I found all the blueprints I needed. But You, okay, uh, you gave me... Okay. No, it's alright. Reinforced type suit, oh my god. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. <gasps> it is! Prompter drill arm! Drill! Which one's that? Slake loves depth! Mark one! Let's go! Docking bay. Blueprint acquired. Is this like where I'm gonna find all the arms and stuff? Block. Another grappling arm fragment? So that's repair bay and grappling arm. Drill arm! Drill arm! That's the uh, cannon arm. Propulsion arm. I don't really care for it that much. Oh, nuke reactor! I don't care, PDA. I got nuke reactor. Propulsion arm. Please. Oh! We're going to the floating islands to get power cell charger fragment. You know what? Square up. Get over here. Stop it. You get away from that. No. Bad. Stop it. No. Power cell charger fragment. That's the last one. That's pretty much the most important thing that I came out here for. The other stuff isn't super important. Well, the only other thing isn't super important. I want a... I want a data box. Come on. Okay, fire suppression's useful. Okay, swim charge fins. I don't need those. Okay, propulsion cannon. Oh, it's right there. Let's go. Yeah. You get out of here. Nice. Alien containment. And now we're making this bad boy. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to put this thing on. Woo! I'm going to be the safest boy ever. Nice. I don't need the radiation helmet anymore. And the rebreather. That's good. I kind of want that. Oh, this thing! <sighs> I got a coffee vending machine! Let's go! I really need titanium. Look at this. Look at how much that I have. No, wait. No, no, no. No, actually, yeah, I'll sleep. Okay, now wake up. Cuttlefish hatched, and so did Crashfish. And for some reason, I have a radio message. This is Life Pod 2 coordinates attached. We're way past our safe depth and bleeding O2. We'll have to swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. I could either go for the blood oil. I could either look for the blood oil. Do I have a fabricator in there? I have plenty of stuff in there. I can either go look for the blood oil, or I can plant some. I'll plant some. Oh, the cuttlefish! Hello, buddy! Come with me, Mr. Cuttlefish! Hey, buddy, and I got an achievement too! Man's best friend, Atreus Cuttlefish. Just give him the treat. Hey, what a good buddy. Come over here, like kind of up here, because I don't want you to get... Okay, 
Okay, now stop. Because I don't want you to get hit by some heavy machinery if I'm undocking the prawn suit or something. Give me that. You ready for this, Fisticuffs? You're gonna like this. I was now ready to adventure to the Lost River to try and find all the resources there, see all the cool creatures, and get a ton of things that were going to be super important for upgrades. The thing is, the easiest Lost River entrance to actually go through just so happens to involve a ghost leviathan right next to it. Now, they aren't the most dangerous leviathan in the game. The reaper is, I think, more dangerous than they are. But the ghost leviathan is still not something you want to mess around with. They can do some pretty serious damage pretty fast. I personally prefer the ghost leviathan just because it's less aggressive than the reaper. But it's really a matter of preference. The other one is just not as good because it's a smaller entrance, and this one is just well fit for the Cyclops. So with my prawn suit docked in my Cyclops, I was ready to go on an adventure to the Lost River. Found a time capsule. I don't know how to feel about that. Yeah. I got a thermal blade. Okay. Stasis rifle. I'm gonna need that. The dunes. Wait. Yeah, um... not super interested in that because yeah there's a reaper spawn right there oh what's good these creatures are sea treaders and whenever they step they have a chance to up dig or dig up shale out crops that can give you like gold and diamonds and all sorts of good stuff. So I was just going to farm some resources by them for a minute. But I was super close to the dunes, which is the most reaper heavy area. I think it might even have more than the aurora. But I was not too keen on staying around there because reapers will mess you up pretty fast. It also didn't help that I went the completely wrong way, and I was not even close to the Lost River entrance I wanted to go through. It's actually by that life pod over there. Are we still moving? Really quickly, I'm going to dissect what just happened right there, because there was a lot going on. The first thing that I do is I realize that there's a dot on the map, and there's a reaper right in front of me. And I know that reapers hunt by sound. 
So I turn off my engine so it can't hear me, and I close this door. And then I see that the ship is moving around, so I ask why is it moving, and then I open the door and realize that the Reaper is pushing me. I see that the Reaper isn't actually damaging the ship, and it's just kind of swimming. So I'm hoping that it's not actually going to attack me. I wonder if I should get the prawn suit to go fight it, because I know I can kill it, but the stasis rifle is just obviously the better choice. I hear it roar again, and I decide to go out, because I'd rather risk my life than risk the cyclops. Now, by the time I charge up the stasis rifle, it's already leaving, so I just get back in the ship and get ready to run. Okay. My best bet is to just go up. Ascend. Ahead flanked. Emergency speed. Warning. Vessel calibrated. Excessive Ahead noise. The crazy thing is, the Reaper didn't even damage us. It just kept swimming. At this point, I just decided to go back home. Uh, the interactive map I was using before made me, in the moment, decide that I should go to this uh, Lost River entrance instead of the other one. And that terrified me, that Reaper encounter. And then I picked a better interactive map and realized that the other one is way better just because it has that life pod next to it that is pretty much right next to the entrance. So I always had a beacon there. If there's a ghost, uh, unlike the Reaper, uh, putting, us, putting it into silent running is not going to do us a huge amount of help. So we're just going to have to try and kind of boogie. Local scans show a nearby Here we go. With extensive fossilized remains. Okay, um <clears throat> Part of the reason why I'm down here is to um get some resources. Hey, yo. I would like some copper, please. Yep, gold. So... Oh, screw the ghost leviathan. I'm gonna go ahead and save, actually. Because, you know, they don't call me the world's best save scummer for nothing. This alien structure appears to have collapsed <coughs> to the sea floor. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were yeah, simply either to draw. keep something out or contain it within. Whatever I'm not going to scan it all. Integrating new PDA data. Integrating new PDA data. Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Okay, here's this. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. Here we go. I can hear my heart. My heart beat. I need to be very observant of my depth. Duh! It's so bright. <gasps> Nickel! Okay. Actually, I'm gonna turn off you. Engine powering down. Just because I don't want to use too much power. Okay, come here, little buddy. <sighs> okay.
Okay. Wait, what? Really? Oh, so this is like actively killing us. Please connect. So, uh, Cyclops, um, I may have done a noobsy daisy. Pick up, please. Please. Suck me. Okay. Come on, come on. So what just happened is, um, stupid, and I didn't realize that the prawn suit's crush depth was actually the same as the Cyclops, so I had to go all the way back to base just to craft the next depth module so I could come back, which was great, but first I did want to make sure that I had all the resources I actually needed to craft the next depth module. Prawn depth module mark one. Uh, and then... How do you make the, uh, Cyclops... Need the mark one and a plasteel ingot. After that quick stop, I immediately went back to the lava zone because this is the only way to progress through the story, and I just decided that it was time to get it done. Now, the main thing in the lava zone is the lava castle, which you have to get through potentially the most dangerous enemy in the game, the Sea Dragon Leviathan, to get to. And from there, you can actually complete the game. It also has loads of materials for upgrades, and plenty of opportunities for progression. Along with that, it does have a lava larva that just drain the power from your vehicles. So what I did to combat that was when I was not actively in the Cyclops, I would take out all of its power cells just so they had no power to drain. But pretty much the only thing I had to do here was get to the Emperor and just get ready to beat the game volcanic rock which has formed in this area can be carbon dated to between 800 and 3000 earth years ago the first thing i did was come to this facility number one for all of these ion cubes but number two because of the portal inside of it and the things that i could get from it. Next, I got the recipe for the blue tablet, which is necessary for beating the game, because you have to use it to unlock some very specific areas to complete the game. My next step was to bring my Cyclops across the lava lakes to the final facility, where the last creature I would need to beat the game is, and that's a struggle because I have to navigate past the Sea Dragon Leviathan, which is arguably the most dangerous leviathan in the game. To do this, I rigged for silent running, which chews up loads of power, and I just tried to get past him without him noticing. And somehow, it worked. Next, I brought my prawn suit through the final facility using a few blue tablets on the way in, which are just kyanite and titanium, which is pretty expensive but eventually I made it to the last room in the facility. Others came here once. They built these walls. 
They played alone. They bored me. Now they're gone. And instead, we have you. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. This is the final creature in the game. The Sea Emperor Leviathan. To do what you need to do for this creature, you need to hatch her eggs. And to do that, you need to collect multiple different plants throughout the whole world. But luckily, in one of the other rooms in the facility, there's a bunch of portals that just lead you to the plant locations. But once you get all those plants, you craft enzymes and you let the eggs go free. But the reason that you need to hatch these eggs is to cure the virus that's been th spreading throughout your system throughout the whole game. The problem with this is that it's also infecting the whole planet. That's why all the alien structures are here with no aliens inside of them. That's why the Sea Emperor is still alive. Basically, inside of its digestive system, it creates an enzyme that is keeping the entire planet alive. And its babies can do that better than she can, because she's very old. So, the next thing I did was get plenty of food and water and start going through the portals in the big room to get all the plants I needed to make these hatching enzymes. Well, that's a shame. I forgot to unpause my recording when that happened. Anyways, you didn't miss much just getting one of the plants. Um, my last plant, though, which is the most difficult plant to get, is the Sea Crown or Sea Fan or something like that. I really don't know. But uh, I go past loads of them. That's because they're in the Sea Emperor's Aquarium. And I just happened to miss a lot of them, um, but I do find one eventually, which is good to know that I actually beat the game legit, because this took way too long for me to find. My next step was to make it back to the Cyclops so I could use the fabricator there to actually craft the hatching enzymes. Let's go make some hatching enzymes, come on. Oh, it's time. This is my first time ever doing this. I'm also gonna eat before I leave. Yes! Oh, uh, now we gotta get ready. Hello! Hi! How are you doing? Hello! You're so cute! Hi! How are you? What's up? Hey, come on, burp, burp, Ugh. Do you want me to pat you on the back with my heated knife? No, I'm joking. Go, go play with your mama. Hello. How are you? My I'll young wait. I'll are wait swimming for the, for the shallows. That's good. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. Yeah. What will it be like, I wonder? To go to sleep and never wake up. Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell, friend. Boom! Give me that! Hell yeah! Oh. The character is so funny. And now...
Optimal health to cure the infection. Self scan complete. Vital signs normal. No remaining sign of bacterial infection. And just like that, my infection is cured. The sea emperor is dying. And I completed the game. Except, that's completely wrong. I still have to build the rocket to get me out of here, and I still have to disable the big ass gun on the mountain island. The gun is not really a problem, you kind of just walk in and smack a button. But, the Neptune rocket is going to be really difficult to craft. Also, uh, my prawn suit is stuck in the Sea Emperor's Aquarium. At least, it's either stuck there, or I'm going to have to get home with it through the portal at the Mountain Islands, which, I it's way too long of a journey for me. Okay, here we go, here's the gun control. Boom. I actually never did this the first time. Just want to scan this. functional somehow I don't know how I'm gonna do it but I forgot about that rest in peace oh you're still alive poor thing you'll be all right Rest in peace. No, I can't grapple onto it. I would feel like a terrible person. If the freaking sea dragon leviathan would leave us alone, that'd be nice. I then made the long journey back home so I could start building the Neptune rocket. You know what? If you're going through the floor, I'll go up. Okay. Two gel sacks, easy. Silver, gold, done. Also, I'm gonna need four kyanite, so one, two, three, four. Might as well get it now. Four lead, four ion cubes. Eight total lithium. Two rubies and three nickel. Two quartz. Eight silver. One stock or two. This is gonna be 48 titanium total in there. 48 titanium total in there, and then <clears throat> we gotta get 12 more on top of that. So the other things I'm gonna need are crystalline sulfur and deep mushrooms. Those are the only things left once I get all the titanium. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now these weren't all of the materials that we needed, but these are like the big ones for the rocket. The only things I had left that were really important or that were gonna take some time was the rest of the titanium, deep shrooms, and crystalline sulfur. So we were going back to the Lost River either way. Now my plan to get all this titanium was to just deconstruct a lot of the parts of my base because it's almost all titanium. Okay, so I need 10 more titanium. Oh, it's a titanium ingot. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're good on titanium. We have plenty. I don't even need the deep shrooms because I, I already have the shield generator. There's one... Two... Okay, okay, I'm gonna get one more just to be sure. This is just one big montage of me making everything that I'm gonna need for the Neptune. It's a very large build. It's, it took me 45 minutes to actually get all the resources. 
and I'm lucky because I already had a lot of resources just what my base was built out of inside the Cyclops inside my base already and all of that I was already very lucky to have all that but I just wanted to craft this thing in one go if I could even do that because you know my inventories might not even be big enough to fit all of these resources but I was never closer to finishing this game okay it's about time okay so there's a landing platform I'm actually not gonna go underneath it because if it lands on top of me and kills me I might lose some stuff and I'm not ready to do that Neptune gantry Check. Again, this is gonna take forever to build. Boom. Okay, Neptune boosters. Look at how much stuff we've already used. Okay, and then this. Look, we've got nothing left in our inventory. How are we gonna make a full rocket part after that? Out of that. Okay. Final part of the rocket. I have a genius idea for what. We're gonna name the rocket, but it might not fit. Okay, chill. Neptune one rocket online. We're don't worry, we're not leaving it. We're gonna bring some stuff with us. Auxiliary power unit online. Communications systems array active. Pressurizing hydraulics. Primary computer systems active. Life support systems online. All systems are go, but lift off. We still got a few things left. I'm gonna leave this person with some nice cool stuff. Here we go. I'll bring some diamonds, some magnetite, just all sorts of good stuff. I'll throw in, actually, no, I don't want to take the survival knife. I'll throw in the thermal blade too. If I can even fit all that in there. I've got no idea where my cuttlefish is. Bruh. Oh wait, hold on. There's a couple things I have to take with me. Like there's a few mandatory things that I have to take with me. First of all. Screenshot. This is all I'm taking with me. I wish I knew where Madame Cuttlefish went. Uh, don't worry, I have a feeling that I'll see my Cuttlefish again. Even if I don't take him with me. My fish! I'm gonna find some random hoverfish and then say that it's the same one. Oh, oh, it's Jeffrey, Jeffrey, yeah, Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey. Actually, I think this might be him. There, no, it's not. But I don't care. I know. I know. Okay, now... We're going up for the last time. typing this is for you this is for you maybe I'm capsule ready don't worry about why I'm quitting the game hmm that's strange I only remember having one save game hmm I wonder
wonder what that's all about. I wonder. Well, anyways. Time capsule ready. Create and deploy time capsule and launch the Neptune rocket. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Let's go. Launch and that's all ten, my achievements. Nine, eight, or all the achievements. Seven, I just wish I'd gotten a chance to say bye to my co-fish. Move. One. Clearing atmosphere. Caution. Approaching orbital debris field. Uh oh. Not again. Don't worry, you missed. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three, two, one. Nice. Hell yes, we finally did it! That took like 20 hours. Oh. What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, so and I go among the sand. We are different, but we go together. Bye bye. Credits. Now we're going to watch the credits. Just because I, I want to. <clears throat> Where's Obraxis? Actually, his real name is probably the one here. I love this music. Skip this because there's something special. This game is so special to me. It kind of ushered in my my true gaming this, my true gaming eras, my true gaming. You know, that's the time I can really say. This is what started my true gaming phase, and it's not gonna end either. Anyways, uh, yeah, I love this game. Production game. Special thanks to all these people. They all played through the game at some point, or played part of it in the early access. Um, and just listen. Welcome home to all Terra. Permission to land will be granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of one trillion credits. Yep. Also, it said Cyclops was under the patent of Ocean Gate, which I just realized. Which is the same company that. Hmm. 
Which, um... You know, yeah, that's that company. But, it actually looks a lot like the Ocean Gate Cyclops. But they're also the company that, um... Uh, basically what I did was I backed up the world just in case like it autosaved before I got in the rocket and I wasn't able to retrieve it. That's what I did. Like here, this is the one that we just went through. You can just rejoin. Or I just backed it up to be sure. So anyways, I'm going to continue this playthrough, obviously. I know that, uh... You know, I've already completed the game and everything, but, you know, there's some cool things I want to try. Not for a while, though. It's going to be a year or so. Maybe less if this video does well enough. I don't know. But anyways, that's the end of the video. Bye.